Hi, what Hi. just happened? Okay, I have been fighting with this signal link device for days, trying to get this thing to work, and uh, to, with, with WinLink. And um, I've tried everything, I swear to God, I've, I've, I've tried everything. And I finally figured out how this thing works. <laughs> and it was, it had to do with the audio cable and um, I just wasn't getting it. You know, I was sending just fine. We even went up to a place up at Canyon Rim Park and thought that would solve the problem and that wasn't it. Um, but anyway, so here's, here's the solution, it works. And I'm connecting with that big antenna over there. That's a Tram 1480 um, with this radio, which is a TM281 Kenwood VHF radio with this signal link device um, using Direwolf, which is right here, and uh, using WinLink. And I'm using, at the moment, the station I'm connecting to is um, KK... 6SMD-10, which happens to be the Cerritos American Red Cross station. So hopefully this one's always online. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll just, I'm gonna send a message so that you can hear what it sounds like and see what it sounds like. All right, so let's go over to Compose. And um, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll send myself an email, how's that sound? So understand, this is all RF. There's no internet involved in this. RF I can, means? RF means it's on the radio only. Radio frequency. Now I could run it over Telnet. I can run it over, that's, that's over the internet. But the whole point of this is that I wanna make sure that this will work in, in pretty much any environment as a backup when all of the you know phone systems go down, the power is out and everything else. And by the way, we're on battery power over there. We're sitting in the backyard, but we're on battery power. Duracell. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and send myself a message. Mark at warwick.net. Uh, test message. And blah, blah, blah. I'll That's go ahead and... Better than that. More than blah, blah, blah? Yeah. How about it works? Okay. And we'll go ahead and post that to the outbox. And then... We'll head over to the, this is the packet WinLink session. And in case you wanna see the settings, here's the settings. Can you zoom in on that? Sort of. Can you get closer? Okay, there's the settings. Those work. All right, and zoom out. And then we've got Direwolf running over here so we can see the, the, the transmission going on. And we'll go ahead and hit start and you can hear it. So this, it's hello, saying hello, what do you want to do? My system sends a message saying, I've got a message for you. And it says, okay, I'm ready to receive the message. And then the message is sent. And then there's some acknowledgments near the end there. And it's sent. And then it says sent one message. Sent one message. Now, uh, sending sending over the RF, what happens is it, it goes to the WinLink CMS station, and from there it's forwarded off to email. So as long as it sends, it's good. Um, I could check my email right now, and you know what? Let's. It's look popping up on your phone as it as we speak. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and and. Um, well, we can't show you on the phone, but she's saying it's there. So the, the phone that we're recording this with has the um, it, it, it has the email account that I sent it to. So it does work. It said blah, blah, it works. There you go. All right. So finally, a successful test. And I got to thank my, my neighbor, um, K6KWI, Neil, who's been uh, really helpful in all of this. And he happens to have an APRS station nearby. So, of course... Sending APRS from here is extremely, very, very good. So um, I've managed to get inbeams to work. I have uh, gotten uh, APRS to work both with receiving and sending of locations and messages. And now finally, um, with this setup and this simple laptop, not much here, um, I'm able to do WinLink. So awesome, finally.
Good. Good job.